Hey guys, what's up? This is Sama here, and today I'll be showing you how to jailbreak your iDevices on iOS 5.0. So for this video, I'll be using my iPod Touch 4th generation, but you can also use your iPhone or any iPad that is on per iOS 5.0. So let's get started. Before proceeding, I just need to make it clear that this jailbreak is tethered, which means that if your battery runs out, you'll have to plug your iDevice back to the computer. Uh, you have to plug it in to boot it up. So uh, essentially, what you need for this jailbreak is your IPSW file, which is the firmware file, and you need Red Snow 0.9.9 Beta 3. Yeah, and I'll, I'll also put the link for 0.9.9 Beta 3 Red Snow in the description, and you can uh, download the iOS 5. On your own also so as you can see here what we have to do is very important right now I actually encountered some problems that I didn't do it so when you open the rest of folder you'll see this so you have to go on properties and then go to compatibility and make sure that this one is checked run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3 if it's not that it will not work I tried it before and I actually fail the jailbreak process two times so you have to do that and now what you need to do is that you need to turn off your iPod and after that we'll be putting it in the DFU mode so as you can see here I'm just turning it off there you go the iPod is turned off and now what we need to do is that we need to open Red Snow I'll just zoom in a bit okay so I'll open Red Snow and run also, so you, you have to go to extras, select IPSW, now select your firmware file. So I selected this and it will just give you a confirmation um, dialog box that it is successful. Press OK, go back and there you are set. So just press jailbreak and it's gonna do its thing. Wait for it. it just takes like two seconds also here you have some options I do not recommend that you enable multitask gestures for iPhone and iPads uh, I'm sorry iPhone and iPod touches but if you want them on iPad um, it's your own uh, opinion also uh, you can enable the battery percentage but I don't need it so I'll just uncheck it I just want Syria so I have it there and now what we have to do is that we have to put our uh, we, we need to put our i device in the DFU mode so now when it's turned off I'll press the power button for three seconds then I'll keep holding it and I'll start uh, holding this to home button for 10 seconds when that's done I'll release the power button and I'll keep holding the home button 15 seconds till I hear a sound from the computer so let's get started one two three now hold this one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, release this and keep holding this till you hear the sound from your computer. So it'll just take some time. And there you go, I just heard it. And when that's done, it means that your, uh, that your iPod is in DFU mode or any iDevice that you're using. So now we just need to click next and it'll just bypass it. And as you can see here, it's successfully jailbreaking. reboot and on the iPod it looks like this just put it a bit next to the computer so you can see the comparison and as you can see here you have these fancy little <laughs> screen on your iPod touch so you're done with computer you can just press done or I'll just let it do its thing just don't unplug it right now so it'll go through this process and then after this it'll also um, show you a pineapple logo which will come after some time for, so we'll just wait for it so let's put my camera down so that you can have a better view so this is what it's doing on the iPod it's gonna take some time as you can see here so here you can see that there's a pineapple logo which means that your jailbreak is successfully done so uh, it'll take like for three to four minutes so don't panic if your iPod just gets stuck and if it doesn't move for like five minutes so I'll be back when this is done 
So the jailbreak is now done and my iPod is rebooting so we'll just wait for it to reboot. It'll just take a while. And as you can see here my iPod has successfully turned on. So um, so the thing that you'll notice is that there will be Syria but the icon will be white. So which means that it's not gonna work and it's gonna crash every time you load it up. And also Safari, this is uh, not going to work as you saw there it crashes. So what you need to do now is that you need to do a tethered boot. So what we'll do is that we'll turn off the iPod again. As you can see here, I'm turning it off again, and um, I'll just wait for it to turn off. And it's turned off. So now, also back to the computer. Now you'll have to go back to the Red Snow, or I recommend that you just close Red Snow, open it again. Just to, just a camera. All right. So press run. And in the extras, you'll have to go back to the extras, but this time you'll have to go to just boot the first one. And as you can see here, this is uh, this is the file. So now you need to put your iPod Touch or iDevice in DFU mode. So I'll do it again. And so it's here, as you can see here. Power button for three seconds, then this for ten seconds, and then leave it and hold this till you hear the sound. So let's go. One, two, three. Now hold the home button along with that. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Leave this and keep holding the home button until you hear the sound. As you can see here, it just did. And now it should work as normal. As you can see here, it's exploiting with library and uploading. Waiting for reboot and as you can see here, my eye. Reboot in a second. There you go. And here it says uploading kernel, rebooting, and done. And as you can see here, my pineapple logo is also up and slowing. So I'll be back when my once my iPod is turned on. So now my iPod has rebooted and as you can see here the CD icon is there and it's working properly and also Safari should now also work so I'll just open it and as you can see the Safari is working. So this means that the jailbreak is successful. I hope you like the video. Um, if you have any questions comment in the comment bar below. Follow me on Twitter. Like the video. Subscribe to me. And uh, yeah, it's Sama signing out. Peace.